Welcome Bronx, this is the first newscast of Spring 2012. You're watching Bronx TV News. Where we bring the latest up-to-date news about what's new on your campus. I'm Daniel Lesma. And I'm Lizbeth Gonzalez. Let's jump in with our first story. The UTPA Dance Department shined a spotlight on the choreography of four talented seniors here at UTPA. Our own Bronx TV reporter, Orlando Vargas, has a story. Every fall semester, senior UTPA dance majors are required to choreograph a performance necessary for graduation purposes. Rehearsals for the show begin in early fall to be presented the last week of October. Each senior choreographer must pick their own dance performance to be a part of their piece. Um, sometimes we can't really see the people because of the lights, we just see their outlines, but it's exciting to know that people are out there watching you, wanting to watch you, whether it's your family or your friends or a stranger, it's just exciting to have someone wanting to watch you. Performances were showcased three nights and were open to the public. Spectators enjoyed the sights and sounds the choreography projects had in store. Well, I came twice already, yesterday and the opening night, and I was expecting nothing compared to this. This, this was really good, and I, I really liked every piece. The first one was actually very good. The second one was astonishing. The second one had so much culture, so much emotion and depth. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. For Bronx TV, I am Orlando Vargas. With the spring semester well on its way and student enrollment in high numbers, parking has definitely become an issue this semester. Bronx TV reporter Andrew Sanchez is standing by our newsroom with the latest updates on parking at UTPA. Last semester, students began parking on the grassy areas on Van Week Street due to the overflow crisis. Although UTPA has never allowed students to park on these grassy areas, there is now permanent parking available. According to Melissa Sandoval, Parking Services Manager, after several discussions and through the review by administration, students are now allowed to park on the grassy property located on Van Wyck Street between parking lots T1 and T2, only with a valid Zone 1 or Zone 2 parking permit. UTPA is adding 500 new paved parking spaces to this location in the coming months and are looking to have this project completed by fall 2012. UTPA and parking services are still encouraging students to park behind the baseball field in the overflow and to use the shuttle buses as an alternative means to get to campus. Reporting from the Bronx TV Newsroom, I'm Andrew Sanchez. Back to you in the studio. In politics, mogul Donald Trump announced that he will be endorsing presidential candidate Mitt Romney. Trump had first jumped into politics when he had announced that he will be running for president. And on the subject of voting, UTPA offers the Latino Initiative for Voter Empowerment, also known as the Live Voter Drive, to encourage students to vote. For more information, you may contact Ken Buckman, Associate Provost at UTPA. UTPA has had a rich and successful history in sports. Leave it to one of our own student athletes to become another name recognized within that community. Our own sportscaster, Nelly Ariola, has more in this week's sports update. UTPA Bronx player Jared Marie is the first Bronx to reach 1,000 points since Meyer Chapman. He now has 1,008 points and needs 11 more to catch Steve Hurd for 20th place on the all-time list. In another success story, Edinburgh High School student Jessica K. Tamain, a 2012 senior, has signed with St. Edwards University to play golf with the Hill Hoppers women golf team. Congratulations to you, Ms. Tamain. And in basketball, the 2011 NBA lockout was a rough time for all fans. Now that the NBA lockout is over and the association is back in action, the league has games almost every day of the week. This is great for fans, but players have stated that it has been difficult getting used to not having as many days of rest as they have had in the past seasons. And finally, after a long-awaited year, Super Bowl 46 finally came. Here's a recap of this weekend's game. The New York Giants beat the New England Patriots 21-17. Quarterback Eli Manning set an NFL record with 15 fourth-quarter touchdown passes, including his pass received by Mario Manningham for a 38-yard sideline catch. After that spectacular play between Manning and Manningham, 57 seconds left was not enough time for the Patriots quarterback Tom Brady and his teammates to come back. The clock slowly counted down as the New York Giants did to claim their 2012 Super Bowl victory. And that does it for this week's sports update. For Bronx TV, I'm Natalie Ariola, reminding you to stay in it to win it. Thank you, Natalie, for this week's sports update. 
And that does it for our first newscast of spring 2012. We encourage you to visit our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash TV to stay up to date with the latest news on campus. And be sure to stay on top of all of our newscasts this semester by subscribing to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash News. For Bronx TV, I'm Dan Ledesma. And I'm Lisbeth Gonzalez. Go, Go Bronx! Bronx.